Welcome back to Pinoy Crossover. So let's dive in. Let's talk more about the series that are unfolding right now. Mark and Mark. Let's go to the West right now. Warriors and, uh, and Houston Rock. Right now the game is 1-1 <laughs> heading into back to the Oracle. What have you seen so far about the, the two games that we've seen? And, and what are some of your thoughts and insights? Well, no, no, you see it's 1-1 one, one right now. You see the big difference for Houston was the ball movement, right? If you see game one, they did a lot of ice ball. Like, that's their thing, mm -hmm. but right, you see it didn't, it didn't get the job done for them. But I was watching game two, especially the second quarter, ball moving, bang, 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 bang. Mm -hmm. They got, like, PJ Tucker got on fire, Eric Gordon, like, everyone was getting touches, everybody was knocking it down. So if Houston can keep up this ball movement, then they're solid. Yeah, adding to that ball movement, man, like, that, what they said in uh, NBA on TNT, they were like, how Houston was, they kept passing the ball around, getting those two steps inside the paint, and then once they have their defenders stalling, leaning a little bit, they could pass it over, and then the defense, the Warriors defense get all, you know, flabbergasted, and then they, they don't, they have to find their matchup, and then Houston finally gets that open man, they get that good shot, and that's what they do, they get the, get the good shot when they're moving the ball. Also, I think what, what they, been doing uh, lately is that they're trying to, or they've now adjusted for game two, is that they're kind of attacking Stephen Curry, or not really attacking that much that, hey, I have an isolation on Stephen Curry, let me go one-on-one -on, -one on him, but touching him up, going being a little bit physical on him, because he, he does have that, you know, leg injury that he's still recovering from, you know, every, not everyone's 100%, but they're also trying to, you know, go inside the paint, and then be a little bit touchy on him, making sure that he's not, you know, defending that well, even though you know, Stephen Curry is a pretty good defender, uh, mm -hmm. at least. And, you know, with that pat, uh, ball movement with Houston Rockets have been doing there, I mean, they're doing pretty well. Hopefully they can keep it up for game uh, game three when they go to Oracle, but I don't know, man. Maybe maybe Houston already played their peak game already, the perfect <laughs> game against the Warriors. It's an exciting series for sure. Is, yeah. When I was watching, the thing is that Houston got that big lead to start. Like, it's, it's about who has that who has that cushion because mm -hmm. when Golden State was trying to come back, like they had answers to everything. And it's it's a testament to the, the players on the Houston Rockets because they were stepping up. Everyone was stepping up. Yeah. Gordon made, hit a ridiculous shot. Yeah. Like ridiculous shot. I saw that highlight. A couple times, yeah. yeah. And everyone stepped up. PJ Tucker and everyone's mm -hmm. playing with grit. That's what I like to see, that that, that grit, that toughness <laughs> and that scrappiness. Like Kevin Durant and Harden going at it. You mm -hmm. see Curry and Har Curry trying to guard Harden. Mm -hmm. And it's just a great game. But I think it all comes down to, you know, answering each other because if one team gets on fire, if one team has that streak of like, because they, they're both streaky teams, like if one team can get the, those threes down or have a couple of possessions where it's just them scoring, they'll ta uh, turn the tables. But in this case, every time Golden State seemed to get, seemed to get going, Rockets just had an answer. Mm -hmm. And I feel that's going to be the, the main thing. And Chris Paul is playing really nice. Really like, mm -hmm. it's his first time on the stage, and he's and he's proven that he's worth something, right? He's taking people one on one. He's trying to take Looney one on one, <laughs> which Looney can't even do anything. Mm -hmm. He's taking everyone by storm, and I think it's just a great series. I just I hope it's not the peak game because I, I really I'm looking forward to a fantastic series, and mm -hmm. I just want to see Curry just go off and yeah. Durant just like and Draymond. <laughs> and Draymond's shoving people too, so it's an exciting series. I'm still going for Golden State, and yeah. did I say six? Yeah, that's what I'm going for. So are you guys seeing? Are you guys still staying with the same prediction as you guys already have? I am. Uh, so so what's your, what's your, what's your prediction? prediction when I go in green through game four? Do right. you see Houston taking a game or two? Well, b as of right now, it's tough. But like, I'm, like it just it depends on how Houston if they can keep up the good ball movement. If they mm -hmm. can keep that stuff up, then Houston then Houston can win the series. But if not, then Golden State is going to take it. Mm -hmm. Like obviously, I wanted to go seven games just because it's good basketball and yeah. like really good entertainment. But mm -hmm. yeah, it all depends. It's on Houston. Yeah, mm -hmm. for it's sure. There's to lose. Yeah, speaking of a team that moves the ball like that, like you know, every single disciplined ball movement. Let's go to the east side where we have a 2-0 lead by Boston. Like, are you guys surprised about the results? What are your thoughts and insights so far about this series, Mark? Well, yeah, like I think the whole world is shocked that Boston is up 2-1. It's like. When you look, I'm like comparing it to the Raptors series, I'm like, why couldn't the Raptors play this? <laughs> but the main thing, I think the difference between that, why Boston's up, like they're not scared of LeBron. Yeah. They're like, yeah, okay, you're LeBron. Like Marcus Moore, is Marcus or Markeith? Marcus, Marcus. Yeah, yeah, one, yeah one, one of the twins. One of, the, one of, the, one of those Markeith was the one we didn't like because he was in <laughs> Wizards. Yeah, he's he like, yeah, I'm the, I'm the guy that can guard LeBron. Yeah. Yeah. And like Raptors just like, they didn't, they didn't have that. 
Boston, Boston, they're gritty. Rosier stepping up, Smart stepping. Up. Everybody's just playing nice. Yeah. Just like with, even without Kyrie and Gordon Hayward. Mm -hmm. it's like, but shout out my guy Brad Stevens for that. Like, mm -hmm. I know, Brad Stevens, I think he has a lot of impact with this player. It's getting that, what we said last episode, or what you guys said last episode, that grit and grind, right? Don't, don't fear LeBron. Don't fear the Killian Cavaliers. They're not really, to your eyes, they're not really a good team. You can beat, you, Killian Cavaliers are beatable, but for the what, the Raptors, it's all in the head. Mm -hmm. And for the Boston Celtics, they got, they got in their head, basically, and now they're playing very well. I'm, I'm, I'm still surprised, though. I thought Cleveland would uh, yeah. at least bounce back in game two. LeBron James did his best. He got a triple-double. Well, 40, 40, like 40, 40, 40 points. 40 point triple-double. That's just... No, they, it, wasn't, it wasn't enough. You know, LeBron and James can't carry that much of, of the weight between, you know, Jared Smith, Kevin Love's uh, on his back. But, you know, Boston, yeah, their ball movement's been pretty well. The, like, the whole system's doing well. So, hopefully they can... You know, let's see if they can steal a game. And I say steal a game because they, uh, they're not going to win a game. They're going to steal a game in Cleveland because uh, I don't think they will. But hopefully they can steal a game. And maybe they can win the series. And hopefully they can just rest up. Yeah. And maybe they can face Houston or the Warriors the next mm -hmm. round. I mean, in the finals. Or Cleveland can come make a comeback. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, I, I want to take back my prediction. <laughs> I, thought, I, said, I thought Cavs were going to win. Boston's looking too hefty right now. I feel hey, like LeBron... He was my, they yeah, were my prediction I, I think LeBron's going to lose gas. Like, that sketch that Donald Glover did, the other guys, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the memes of the other guys. And, yeah, 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 yeah. So, J.R. Smith, like... The, the, he, the king doesn't have help. Like, the king's playing out of his, out of his mind. Like, it's his throne. It's his, he's the best player in the NBA right now. And he still can't... With that stat, still can't overcome a Boston team without two superstars, yeah. Kyrie and uh, Gordon Hayward. So, like, what's what's there to do? I, th I really believe in Boston, even though they're all rookies. They're playing with grit and grind. They play with that toughness. Again, that's what we want Raptors to do. Mm -hmm. The stat line of Boston was everyone contributed so mm -hmm. well. And then you have a, a good coach as well, which is a deadly combination. When you have everyone listening, no ego, everyone contributes. And then a coach that knows how to play the game and has that technical aspect, it's, it's scary to watch. And I feel like LeBron's met his match because LeBron is one versus basically 10. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, that's a team, man. Plus, they're all rookies, too. Well, most of them are rookies, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I've been predicting Boston yeah. since then. Like, I just knew watching their games uh, against the Sixers, I, I just like... This team knows our discipline. This team are not scared. Like, they weren't scared of Embiid. Mm -hmm. uh, Horford was a lot smaller and a lot, uh, they, like, in terms of size and weight and Embiid still couldn't. Rozier is a lot smaller than, than and mm -hmm. Simmons. And none of them were scared. Jalen Brown. Uh, these are players that, I think, it, their youth and their inexperience, this time was such an advantage for them because of the fact that they never had, they never really had this opportunity to face LeBron on the stage, on you know where everything is in the baseline, so they they don't know any better. Or worse, the Raptors on the Raptors side, they've had so many times the battles with LeBron, and LeBron always get the best of them, mm -hmm. and so the mental aspect of it wasn't there really, which is an advantage for them, and the fact that they have a guy like Bryant Stevens that just guides them and knows what's best for them to get the most out of every single player. It's, it's scary to see what you know, they're really capable of maybe next season because I think they're going to take it on. Uh, they're gonna, I think they're going to win a game against Cleveland at their home times, and I think they're going to finish it at home when they go back. Ooh, in, in, no, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm going to have five. five games because okay. yeah. I think oh. they're going to take a game from them. <laughs> Not, probably going to be game four because I think Brad Stevens is going to adjust after a lose on a game three. Okay. Yeah.